All right, so with all the talks and speculation around Tyler Boyd, we know he's going to leave us this offseason, okay? That's not a question. We're not bringing him back. It's already been very clear. So I wanted to go ahead and put this tier list together and kind of give my opinion on wherever he goes and how I feel about it. So we have different categories. We have the worst team possible. I wouldn't prefer it. It would make sense. I wouldn't mind. It would be a great fit. Or I could root for that team's success. And <laughs> let's just break it down. The worst team for him to go to, personally speaking wise, that we all know is Kansas City Chiefs. I would hate to see him on the Chiefs. And not only because the fact they can't pay him that much money, but it's also the fact that it's like, not the Chiefs. Just, I, not the Chiefs. I wouldn't want to see him go to the Chiefs. I wouldn't want to see him go to the Ravens the most. Um, other than that, the Browns, I wouldn't want him to see him. Well, I wouldn't want to see him go there. Those, yeah, those three are the worst teams. Those are the three worst teams I could not get around. And you might say, well, what about the Steelers? The Steelers go into, it would make sense. And that is actually the only team. Actually, no, that's not the only team, but that's the number one team in this category. He's from Pittsburgh. He's from Pennsylvania. He was born in Pennsylvania. He grew up best friends with DeMar Hamlin in Pennsylvania. So it would make perfect sense for him to go to Pittsburgh. So I have no problem slash it is what it is if he goes there. Listen, we got Mike Hilton from Pittsburgh. They get Tyler Boyd from us. Potentially, they might get Cheeto from us. So it is what it is, right? I'm not going to really go too crazy on that category. Um, let's just go through each team here. The Saints, I wouldn't mind. I don't think it would be a great fit because I don't think Derek Carr is that good and he has injury concerns <laughs> by himself. I think Michael Thomas just got cut from the Saints. So I'm going to say I wouldn't mind, but it is what it is. The Dolphins... I wouldn't prefer it, and the reason why I wouldn't prefer it is because the fact they have so many mouths to feed in that offense, and they just signed John U. Smith, and they don't have any money. So they wouldn't be able to pay the guy. They also wouldn't be able to get him the football. He would be like a fifth receiver on their team, and it would just be, he wouldn't be able to do anything. He wouldn't be able to really show how good of a player he is. So I wouldn't prefer it for that reason. Denver Broncos, I wouldn't prefer it. They don't really have a quarterback because they just cut Russell Wilson. And the receivers, they look like they're just kind of getting rid of everyone. So it's not like he would even be on a championship team or have a chance to be successful. So I'm going to say I wouldn't prefer it for that reason. Giants suck. Vikings, I wouldn't prefer it because the fact, again, it's just the offense situation is not there. The Rams, I think it would make a great fit. I really think he would be a great fit on the Rams. You got Cooper Cup, you got Puka Nakua, and now you have a third wide receiver in the slot, who, which is really what he is. He's a slot receiver. You got two outside receivers. He would actually be really damn good with the Rams. If they have Stafford coming back, then he would be a really great option for them. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they just bought back, um, what's his name? They just bought back Mike Evans. They got Chris Godwin. I think he'd be a great slot receiver as well for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. About to lock down Baker Mayfield on a long-term contract. Detroit Lions, it would be a great fit, and I could actually root for that team's success. Um, Chicago, they're going to have a rookie quarterback in Caleb Williams. Um, they got DJ Moore there, but DJ Moore is an outside receiver, so I think I wouldn't mind it if he went there. I think Caleb Williams is going to be interesting, but a lot of times, young rookie quarterbacks, what they really rely on is a veteran wide receiver, and a lot of times they rely on a good tight end, usually a veteran tight end. Um, there are some times where I feel like, here's what I'll say, right? Rookie quarterbacks, they always have one rookie wide receiver they love. If you ever watch a rookie quarterback, they always find one rookie receiver that they love. And then they have one veteran receiver they love. And then they rely a lot on their tight ends because it's safe. It's easy. Check down passes, right? So let's go to the 49ers. 
Um, I wouldn't prefer it. I don't think it would be the worst destination possible. For him, it would be okay of a destination. Uh, Cause you got Debo, you got Brandon Ayuk, and then you have a third receiver now in him. Um, but I wouldn't prefer it personally. Eh, I hate the 49ers. I'm gonna put them at the worst. <laughs> Eagles. I wouldn't mind it. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Raiders. They don't have a quarterback situation figured out, and I don't want anything bad for my boy. Packers. I could actually root for that team's success. 100%. And that'd be a great fit for them. Commanders. Um, honestly, I'm going to put it, it would make sense. The reason why I'm going to say it would make sense is because they have the most salary cap of any team in the NFL. So I feel like out of all the teams, they would pay him the most money. And he could honestly probably get a bag and not have to do anything. So, but he would also be the second receiver behind Scary Terry. Um, Cardinals. I wouldn't prefer it. I just don't like Kyler. I don't think Kyler would be really good with him. Um, Bills? I wouldn't prefer it. <laughs> Listen, we own the Bills, and I still don't want them to be successful. I, I want to continue to own them, okay? I don't want them to start taking off. Falcons? I think Falcons would make sense. You give yourself pretty much... I feel like Tyler Boyd. Okay. This is going to be a wild claim, okay? This is a very wild claim. Tyler Boyd is like a dollar store Roddy White. I think that might be a far claim, but that's what they can use him like. Seahawks. Um, I wouldn't mind. Patriots. And it's not that the Patriots, I mean, they don't have the quarterback situation figured out. I just hate the Patriots. Texans, uh, I could actually fruit for that team's success. Cowboys. It would actually make sense to go to the Cowboys, especially if they get rid of Michael Gallup. They have CeeDee Lamb, they have Brandon Cooks, and now you have Tyler, you know, I mean, Tyler Boyd in the slot. It would actually make a lot of sense. Um, Chargers, it would make a lot of sense. Jets would make a lot of sense as well. Panthers, you got a young quarterback, you know, truly trying to develop, doesn't really have a wide receiver one. Um, I could see it, it could. It would be a great fit for him, I think. Um, Titans. Yeah. I hate the Titans. But I love Brian Callahan. But I hate the Titans. But I like Brian Callahan. Okay. That's a thing. Um, I think it'd be a great fit. Jags wires. I think it would make sense for them to go for him. Bengals, well, we're not bringing him back. So it doesn't matter what we would be a good or not good fit for us. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.